So, welcome to the glorious Clippers Organic Acres here in the heart of downtown Vancouver. Um, obviously not. Um, my one day uh, stopover in Vancouver has turned into a five day shoot um, due to some linkages that I found between some of my farmers. Um, Originally, I was going to be here for a day to film with uh, two restaurants, Wildebeest and Acorn, and I had a really good conversation with Acorn. Acorn is the best vegetarian restaurant in the city, if I may say so, um, and they take local food fairly seriously, which is why they're buying from Clippers. But um, buying everything local is not really realistic. Um, certain things grains. BC is not known for its grains. There's a little bit growing here, but it's not something you can really source locally. So what's it going to do about grain? Well, it turns out there's another local business in town, Flourist, which specializes in sourcing grain direct from farmer. And I want to give you a sense of just how unusual this is. Go to the grocery store and try and find any grain, any legume, where you can identify the farm where it was grown. I challenge you to do this. You can't, you cannot do it. Um, and Flowerist does. And it just so happens that Flowerist is sourcing all of its hard red spring wheat from a farmer that I'm gonna hopefully visit later, uh, Maida Vale Farm in Saskatchewan. And this coincidence where Acorn was sourcing ingredients from two of my farmer suffers was just too great to pass up. And so I had to film with Flowerist and Acorn um, and tell that uh, crossover. So that's what's uh, delayed me here. I'm not terribly happy to be back in the city. I got off the ferry and started driving down the highway towards the city, um, a highway I've drive, driven many times before, and I just had this feeling that I don't know this place. It feels foreign to me. That doesn't make any sense because I have lived here literally my whole life, except for the last two months. And yet I got into town and was like, I, I don't have any connection here. This isn't home. And it wasn't until I got halfway down Oak Street and I passed by this place that I finally felt, okay, now that feels like home. Bubble tea is not something they have on the farm. That feeling of not belonging hasn't really left. I walked into a grocery store yesterday and I got confused, like, I, I didn't know how it worked. Um, I haven't been in a grocery store in three months since COVID began. Um, I don't know how you guys do it with masks and social distancing and one way I like. It doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I've just been on the farm and working on the farm and it's been pretty normal. Um, yeah, I'm not used to this COVID nonsense. <laughs> that we're all doing. Um, anyway, so I got in and was like, okay, I need a salad. I can literally put anything in my salad, but I don't know how to choose. I mean, I've been choosing my food by going, oh, what did we pick this morning that uh, didn't sell at market? Oh, peas? Okay, I'm gonna have peas. Um, I've been making some delicious meals that way. Um, so this idea that I can literally have anything and it comes packaged in little plastic container that goes in a little plastic bag and it's all very it's there for you and it just feels like the convenience is there to make up for the lack of connection to the food like I, I didn't pick this food I don't know who picked this food um, I don't know where it came from and the grocery store experiences that doesn't even matter and that's not how I've been living I don't know if I can go back. So next week, I promise you, I will be at Clippers Organic Acres and not downtown Vancouver. Um, I'm heading there tomorrow morning. Uh, by the time you watch this, I will probably be at Clippers Organic Acres. So uh, to see that next week, you, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, to learn more about the documentary project, uh, you can go to thehandsthatfeedus.ca and uh, sign up for our newsletter. I should probably write a, a blog post about flowers because that place is pretty cool. Um, or uh, you can follow the project on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, 